Welcome to today's reflection from Christchurch. Yesterday, we were looking at Psalm 25, David's prayer, and the application of around, back, up, and forward. And to understand that, you need to listen to the 1030 sermon. But as we were reading the whole Psalm, verses four and five just hit me. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day long. They just were a perfect reminder that our Christian life has to be one of continuous learning. Of listening to God through his word and through prayer. A reminder to take that time to wait on him. It isn't a question of fitting God into a busy day, but spending time with God and getting our busyness in perspective. I was reminded of a book that I'd bought many years ago. It was by a, a gentleman called Bill Hybels, and titled Too Busy Not to Pray. Uh, despite the title, it doesn't really talk about how we need to schedule prayer into our lives to ensure that the busy part of our lives works more efficiently. No, what it really emphasizes is the all-encompassing value and importance of prayer. And it talks about the barriers and problems we so often throw up when we think about our prayer life. It gives example after example of why we need to prioritize our dialogue with God which happens to be the title of another book I have on prayer. Prayer, talking to and listening to God, is the engine of our growth. What I love about those words in Psalm 25 is the way David expresses the real desire to learn how God wants him to live. One of the issues Bill Hybels raises is that sometimes our prayers seem to be asking God to endorse or support the way we want to live. It needs to be the other way around. Our life has to be all about how God wants us to live. And in that respect, Tim Coe, when he was speaking in the evening service, gave a great pointer by directing us to Luke 10, Mark 12, Matthew 22, all of which have the same message. Let me read Luke's version. And behold, a lawyer stood up to put him to the test, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? And he answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. How does God want us to live our lives? You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. Make me know your ways, teach me your paths. We read that. And as the old Meerkat TV advert used to say, simples. What is also so powerful in that psalm, though, is the recognition by David, which needs to be also what we recognize, that the God he is praying to, the God we pray to, is the God of his and of our salvation. The I wait all day long is quite simply an expression of perfect trust. So I really want to end this short reflection with that thought and that prayer that I want to know, really know in my heart, how God wants me to live in each and every circumstance and situation, and to speak out the truth that God is the one who brings the chance of salvation to our world. Let's pray, and I'm just gonna use those verses from the Psalm again. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. 
for you I wait all the day long. Amen. The song I've chosen is Teach Me Thy Way, O Lord. Have a great day. Have a great week. God bless.